West, we have a whole array of sexual uh, positions and, 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 and uh, things that we do sexually that may be frowned upon in another culture. Mm -hmm. Right? So Could the thing be. is, a person who would like to have, say, for example, oral sex, but the partner is from a culture that may not be uh, considered that quite functional, so this partner then harbors this desire. Sure. And, and that can happen with two sa uh, same sex. Oh, sure. uh, it doesn't matter. Of same color. Same color. You know, two oh, Caucasians, sure. they can discuss that. Of course. But you're saying it. it the gap is wider. It is wider. And so therefore what you do, what I do in therapy with these clients, is give them a permission almost to talk openly about sex. And when they do that, mm. they have that sense of understanding. Sure. Yeah. And talk openly about money and talk oh. openly about our wants and our needs. Of uh, course. What about commitment? In yes. dating the ethnic man, mm -hmm. you, you have said, uh, some partners don't seem to have the ability to commit. Mm -hmm. uh, more the man yes. than the woman. Yes. Why? Well, the thing is, it depends on the reason. Now, this is where the player comes in. If the ethnic man is a player and, and is dating a Westerner uh, for ulterior motives, then there's, that, there's not that commitment. He knows at the back of his mind that once he, his needs are, are met by this person, then he's going to go back and maybe have an arranged marriage anyways. So he goes into the relationship not fully committing to seeing where this relationship okay, goes. Okay, because he knows he has other options. That's it. So it's a question to ask. Yes. And it, I don't mean that Caucasian men aren't players. Well, no. But not many of them are in arranged marriages. Yes. So that isn't an option. That's an option it. is to be a player all your life or mm -hmm. not, or, f or hope one day you made a woman that you fall so madly in That's love right. with, you won't fool around. That's it. That's mm -hmm. it. Yes. Um, so the thing is, the questions to ask, you know, why are you with me? Now, here's the thing. Many times, some ethnic men are in a relationship with a Caucasian woman, let's say, for example, because they consider the Caucasian race as being superior to all other races. Mm -hmm. So, and they consider this unconsciously. They're not aware of it. And therefore, they're, they're motivated. They're attracted to the, someone who is of fair uh, mm -hmm. skin, a fair race. And so when you bring this up directly to this person and say, are you dating me because of my skin? If I was black or if I was this or if I was that mm -hmm. would you still date me and that you know the, the, the truth when they're faced with the truth they, they it allows them certain introspection into the relationship and and that's what we do in, in counseling yes Go there. I'm sure because I have a friend a, a white male mm -hmm. single yes who uh, dates South Asian women mm -hmm. Japanese women yes does not date Caucasian women mm -hmm. just doesn't not yes. attracted yes I don't know why but yes. just not attracted and is you? that a physical thing oh okay uh, I, I've had many clients in a similar situation now it could be many things it could it could be a, a, a some emotional baggage he's bringing from previous relationship with a Caucasian woman mm. it could be something I mean you know we, we, I don't want to make light of this but it could be a mother issue could uh, be it could also be something as to what the Asian community represents especially mm -hmm. in the females in that community. So we have something like someone, uh, uh, typically, the uh, Asian women are a little bit more passive. They're more um, uh, receptive to certain things that their partner expects of them. And they're more conformist, in a sense, where they will um, sacrifice certain beliefs of their own to make the partner mm -hmm. happy, because they're from a collectivistic culture. Sure. So like in the good old days for the for the uh, Caucasian couples when mom stayed home and took care of the kids and made the cookies. Yes. Dad went out to the country club, played golf, sure. uh, had a job, yes. came home, dinner ready, all of that. Totally yes. different world today. It is. It is. And mm -hmm. the thing is, all men in general, regardless of the race, need to understand that in today's society, especially in the West, to make a relationship work, you need equality. You need to change yours and do some work on yourself to grow so sure. that you can nurture the relationship. Right. But so many go into cross-cultural relationships thinking, it's, thinking it will be just like any other relationship. Yes. And you say in dating the ethnic man, strategies for success, it so isn't. It isn't. It isn't. It, 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 there's many factors here that make it different from the typical relationship when you're... Because the thing is, when you're in a relationship, say if you're in a relationship with a Caucasian man and you're a Caucasian woman, you know there's these unsaid rules 
that you know you've mm -hmm. grown up in the same environment, the same culture, the same understanding, the same uh, interests about movies and jokes and things like this, whereas someone from a different culture may consider certain Western jokes obscene All of that? or sure. vile. Or yes, like but they, they and don't. control issues, big, yes. all of that. I mean, even if you were raised in a very wealthy family mm -hmm. and you marry somebody who was raised in a poor family, yes, there are issues, there different are. issues, but there are issues. There are issues, and mm -hmm. all of these issues can be resolved if you're committed to the relationship. Sure. Committed to the relationship. I've always heard that from great counselors. Commit to the relationship, yet not to each other, yes. to the relationship. That's it. No matter what, we will make this work. That's it. There's a way. That's it. Nice to see you again. My pleasure. Thank you. Dating the ethnic man, uh, Faisal Shahu Khan. What makes multicultural relationships so challenging? Coming up, thespians are singing, tapping, and high kicking in Malkin Bowl. Stay with us to meet the director of theater under the stars who likes to sing in the rain sometimes. Wardrobe for Fanny Kiefer provided by Jacqueline Conwar Collections.